Hello friends, this is a relatively easy problem and you should be able to solve this. In this case you have been given that is x raised to the power x plus 2, this is equals to x cube. Then what is the value of x that satisfies this equation? So let us solve this problem. So we have x raised to the power x plus 2, this is equals to x cube. Now if you have x raised to the power m plus n then using the rules of exponent I can write this is x raised to the power m times x raised to the power n. So if I use that rule I can write this as x raised to the power x times x raised to the power 2 this is equals to x cube. Now let us take x cube to the left hand side. So this becomes x raised to the power x times x square minus x cube this is equals to 0. Now I can take x square common so this becomes x raised to the power x minus x is equals to 0. I can also take x outside so this is x square and now I am taking x outside so this will be x raised to the power x minus 1 and this is minus 1 this is equals to 0. And here I have 2 and here I have 1. So this is x cube times x raised to the power x minus 1 minus 1 is equals to 0. Now two possibility. Either this term is 0 or this term is 0. So case 1, if x cube is equals to 0, this means x is equals to 0 is one solution. Now case 2, so in this case you will have x raised to the power x minus 1, this is equals to, uh, this minus 1 is equals to 0, this means I can say x raised to the power x minus 1 is equals to 1. Now if you consider expression something like a raised to the power b is equals to 1, how this can be achieved? So there are three possibility. The first possibility is you can have b is equals to 0 and a can be any number but not equal to 0. The second possibility you can have that is base is equals to 1 and b can be any real number. So b belongs to real number set. And the third situation you can have that is a is an even number that is minus 1, uh, a is minus 1 and b is an even number. So b is even number. So b basically even number. So we will consider each case. So first case in this case what you will have b is equals to 0. So in this case a is equals to x and b is equals to x minus 1. So b is equals to 0 this means x minus 1 is equals to 0. So from here I can say x is equals to 1. Now if x is equals to 1, what is the value of a? a is basically x, that is a is equals to 1. So this satisfies this condition, that is a is not equal to 0 and in this case the solution is x is equals to 1. Now let us consider the second case, that is a is equals to 1 and b belongs to a real number a is equals to 1 this means x is equals to 1 and what is b in this case b is basically x minus 1 so if x is 1 b is equals to 1 minus 1 that is 0 so this means this is a real number so this case is also possible but in this case the same solution I am getting that is x is equals to 1 now the third case in the third case what we have we have a is equals to minus 1 so this x is equals to minus 1 and what is b? b is basically x minus 1 so this is minus of mi minus 1 and minus 1 so this is minus 2 so this is minus 2 which is an even number so this means if you have minus 1 raised to the power minus 2 this becomes plus 1 because you have minus 1 raised to the power minus 2 this can be written as 1 by minus 1 raised to the power 2 which is equals to 1 by 1 so this is equals to 1. So this also satisfy this condition so x equals to minus 1 is also a solution. 
So for this problem you have two solution one is x is equals to 1 and another solution is x is equals to minus 1. And from case 1 we also got a solution that x is equals to 0. So basically there are three solutions for this problem. So these are the three solutions. I hope this video was useful for you and if you like my videos please share with your friends, like on my channel and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next video with some more problems. Thank you.